Welcome back. It is time for a little Valentine's Day chemistry. Chemical Kim is here to show us ways to go red. Oh, pretty rose. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, mm. Kim. And for that, you know, we're going to do some fun Valentine's Day science. Okay, good. Okay. Um, the first is, and Jesus actually taught us this, turning water into wine. Oh, I love it. Okay. okay. So we're going to use a little science, and this is water, yes. sealed water. Yes. Just so there's no trickery here, right, Catherine? You're breaking open the seal. Broke it open. You're going to pour it in about halfway full into okay. that wine glass. All right. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to let you do this. You're going to pour it into glass one. Okay. And <gasps> oh what my gosh, in Catherine! The world, Kim. Oh, the magic of Valentine's Day. The what magic. What did you do? And let's let's change it back. So I'm just going to pour some of my water here into this wine glass. Yes. And then you're going to add your your freshly made wine glass. Oh! <gasps> wow! You incredible, never incredible to science. Amaze. Incredible. So let's do this. Let's you know do another little science trick of turning wh white wine into okay. red wine. Okay. okay, so I'm going to rinse out these glasses here. Okay. And yeah, there's a little bit of science behind it. And actually what we are doing is we're changing the acidity of our, first what we did is change the acidity of water. Yes. And we used an acid-based indicator called, ready for this, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein. And, wow, fantastic. Phenolphthalein is actually in laxatives. So of all places, we have this acid-based indicator. Now, Yikes. and then what I'm doing is I'm changing um, the environment to be basic and then the environment to be acidic. And this, I'll use the wine because I can't trust you with the wine, Catherine. No, right? I know you can't, Kim. <laughs> and you're going to use this acid-base indicator, which is red cabbage juice, which we've made before here on yes, the show. Yes, just boiling so the So you're just going to about halfway full. Okay. okay. And the end result is we ultimately want to get this into red wine, or at least a pretty wine for Valentine's okay. Day, right? Okay, all right. So you're going to then take glass one, pour it into this, and the, the base that I put in there is oh. actually washing soda. Something smells really bad, but okay. <laughs> Which one do you think it is? <laughs> it's the cabbage Ooh, water. Yeah, good heavens. Good stuff for Valentine's Day. Okay. Now let's change our, our wine into <gasps> a beautiful, beautiful wine for Valentine's Day. Very nice. Now, though it's beautiful, do we really want to drink it? I don't know. I don't think so. You're kidding. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make beautiful flowers for the love of our lives, right? Okay, good. For I Valentine's like that. Day. Um, this, of course, is an elementary science activity, which Less is fun. Less than a minute. Okay, and it takes advantage of the um, capillaries that are, the capillary tubes that are in flowers that absorb water. Okay. okay. And it sends the water delivery, and you're going to put these flowers into the... Um, Oh, just put it right difference. in. Right, and this is just food coloring. We're just going to put them right in. And they're xylenes, are what we have inside the flowers, which are these tubes that bring the water delivery up. Yes. Okay. And what we're going to do is count to what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six keep counting, seven, keep counting, eight, keep counting, nine. keep counting. Count all the way up to 24 hours, Catherine. Aww. And 24 hours later, you have your beautiful have flowers this. for Valentine's Day. I love it. Isn't okay. That mm -hmm. Learn how to do Kim's experiments. Go to our website, WZZM13.com. Click on Take Five Links. She does all kinds of cool stuff. You'll find it there. Thanks, Kim. And thanks for watching.